Hey y'all, hola mi gente, it's your favorite Georgia Rican Kayla here. And tonight I am prepping for tomorrow, which is Taco Tuesday. And I'm gonna be doing one of my favorite tacos, Tacos al Pastor. Oh my gosh, we're making pork tacos al Pastor. Super yummy, so I have some pork um, butt right here. You can use a pork shoulder, anything like that. A whole bunch of wonderful yumminess. Um, we have a lot of dried um, peppers and stuff that we're going to use that I picked up from the Mexican um, grocery store because I wanted this to be as authentic as it could. I cannot wait to get started. Let's get cooking. Okay, y'all, this is what we're going to need for our tacos al pastor. We need some orange juice, pineapple juice, the fresher, the better, apple cider vinegar, yellow onion or white onion, some fresh garlic. We have bay leaves, cumin, oregano, some ground achote or anato seeds, some ancho chili, huajillo, which huajillo chili, chili arbol, uh, and we have some cloves, we have some ginger, brown sugar, salt, a little bit of cinnamon, whole black pepper. Y'all, this is going to be delicious. We're going to cut up our pork. We're going to make this marinade. We're going to reconstitute these. So we're going to, um, these are dehydrated. We're going to put them together uh, with some warm water. You don't have to necessarily boil them. It's just some hot water, warm water. Uh, let it seep for about 10 minutes, 5 minutes if it's really hot. Or so you just want them soft and then we're going to blend it in our food processor with all these spices and then add the juices and cover our meat with it but i'm going to chop this up and then we're going to have it tomorrow for taco tuesday it's going to marinate overnight can't wait let's get started i'm doing one and a half teaspoons One teaspoon of salt. You can always add more. I'm going to taste this mixture afterwards and see, hmm, do we have enough of the seasonings that we're looking for? And that's all for our dry seed. Well, we need two cloves. Sorry about that. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. So here's two cloves. Yeah, one tablespoon of brown sugar. I guess it's gonna give us a little like sweetness. Kind of. You know, I always overflow my, we don't have, can you believe it? No, other I mean, we probably could, and it'd be fine. And then three tablespoons of achote, which is ground anato seed. And do three tablespoons. This is what's gonna give it that rich color. Practically this whole, it is, it's this whole, this whole bit of achote goes in here. And we have the cinnamon, we have the ginger, we have the brown sugar, the bay leaf, the salt, the cumin, the oregano, the cloves. Now, and the garlic, now all we need is our liquids and our chili peppers. We'll be right back. Four, but uh, I think four to six. These smell really good. And two of these albol chilies. I'm assuming they're hot. That's why we're just using two. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna pour some hot water on here that I had earlier. 
I'm going to let me see in here. And then I'll share it. We're just wanting them to get nice and soft and hot. So I'm going to let that sit on the side. Then I'm going to work on the blend of spices in my food processor. We have our peppers just soaking in here. They look really good. We're just going to continue to let them seep in here until they're all nice, soft, and pliable. Oh, gee, guys, I'm so excited to get this going. Um, as my peppers reconstitute and get all plump, I'm going to start dropping stuff in our blender. I was going to use a food processor, but I think my ninja chef is going to do a better job. Um, I kind of did a little bit of research and I just pulled from different recipes to be honest of things that I liked from each of them. I obviously picked the most cohesive ones but then some had like one had a little bit of cinnamon one didn't one had a little bit of ginger the other one didn't I was like let me just see how those work together so I don't have any dry ginger but I do have some fresh ginger and so I'm just basically cutting um a little bit and I'm gonna peel it. All you need is a really sharp knife. And you just can go around the edges like this. So, so we got about this much. I don't know if that helps you. Of ginger, fresh ginger. I'm just going to cut it in little pieces so it's not just like one chunk going around there and stick it in there. And then I'm going to try to tell you how much I'm going to use of each item as I go through it so y'all can keep up with it and try to put, here's a small onion. I'm just going to peel it and do a simple chop and stick it in here. Drop it in there. All right, now we're going to use about six cloves of garlic, just because I love garlic. And this seems kind of small. These are really small. So I might stick the whole thing in here. A few that aren't. Three of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew, it's making me water that name. Nine little cloves, but if you have like three big ones, that's probably would be what I would do. That would be enough. Now we're going to measure out these ingredients. We're going to do about, these are about like 10 little coarse black pepper. I'm going to use one four teaspoon of cinnamon. I probably should have got my measuring things out. So there you go. One fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. So it's just enough to kind of give you a little like, hmm. What is that yummy goodness? All right. Let me see my camera a little bit like that because I like to in my trash and it brings me over a little bit so we got the cinnamon done we got the black pepper we got the garlic we're gonna put one bay leaf in here it's gonna get blended up you know you got to be careful with your bay leaves it can leave your thing a little bit um, bitter so I have three-fourths cup of pineapple juice my 
husband's coming through the door. And we're gonna use one cup, one cup of orange juice. And this is gonna help it give that sweetness. The apple juice is gonna help tenderize it. Now we need half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Let's see here. Yep. Let's see if I have enough in here. Yes, I do. All right. Now that I believe the only thing missing is our chilies. And look how they have reconstituted. They look amazing. They got filled up. <laughs> I'm going to take the stems off some of these and then I'll be right back like this I don't think we need to grind that up I could be wrong but I'm gonna take it off we'll be right back all right guys I just went ahead and finished putting my peppers in here I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys everything that we put on here because it was quite a list we put four guajillo peppers two ancho peppers two chilies de arbol peppers one yellow onion six garlic cloves, I think I put nine, three-fourths of pineapple juice, one cup of orange juice, one tablespoon of oregano, half a tablespoon of cumin, two cloves, salt, one teaspoon of salt, one bay leaf, one tablespoon of brown sugar, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of achote, one-fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, and a ginger nub because I didn't have um, ground ginger. And that's all in here. Now, and we might could add a little bit of like olive oil or a vegetable oil um, when we put it in, then put it on top of our meat. But let's see how this does. And some people will strain theirs, but I think with the heat and how blended we'll get this, I don't think we'll need to. Let's see where we should be. Puree. Wish me luck. <laughs> to bring a close-up so let me taste this hmm that's a little kick to it it's gonna be good I can taste all of mm, that's some good flavors I think I'm gonna add a little bit of salt more salt to it but let me bring you closer this is the consistency that I got it's going to go over our meat and marinate it and just be absolutely amazing, y'all. All right, you guys. Now I have my meat, and all I'm going to do is cut it up in chunks and then keep marinating. And then I'm going to put it in my Instant Pot tomorrow and cook it down and make like pulled pork tacos al pastor. So let's get to it. You just want to get a sharp knife. and cut into your meat, kind of like this. And then I'm just, I'm just breaking it down into smaller portions. You can do pork tenderloin, that'd be super yummy and tender. I had this meat, cut meat, so that's what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna drop it in here I'm gonna keep doing this to all my meat and see if you can see this. And 
And there's, if there's like a super fatty part, if you don't want that, you know, you can cut it off. I'll, your opportunity to kind of trim the meat. I want some of that fat in there because it's going to give it some good flavoring and it's going to melt and uh, just be part of that flavoring for the pork. So yeah, just keep dicing it up. Just like this. And drop it into your bowl. Be right back. Okay guys, now that I have all my meat cut up, I kind of did it in layers. I cut some, had a layer, pour some, mixed around, cut some, pour some. I'm gonna pour this bit on the top, make sure it's mixed around real good. And then this leftover mixture that I have, y'all, you can put it in a Ziploc bag or a little freezer container and freeze it. And then you have some already tacos al pastor sauce ready for the next time you wanna make this. So I'm just coating this completely with the sauce. I'm being very generous with it, not stingy. And this is, it smells amazing. And look at that, it's completely covered. I'm gonna just add a little bit just to kind of seal the top for safe keeping. I'm gonna cover it with some aluminum foil. Sorry, this doesn't want to go. Okay, there we go. You can saran wrap aluminum foil, whatever. Stick it in the fridge. It's gonna sit overnight. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to make some fresh tortillas to go with this. I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna do a peach, if I can find some, or probably pineapple um, pico de gallo. And then a little bit of queso, I think. Simple and some fresh homemade tortillas. Y'all, a little guacamole, that is it. This can be made, you know, of course, fresh cilantro and maybe some um, raw onion chopped up because that's how they serve it at the Mexican restaurant. But I think the queso is gonna be just an added yumminess to this. And that pineapple, because we put pineapple juice in here. So making a pineapple salsa or pico de gallo is gonna send it over the top and be amazing. So. Let's get with it tomorrow. Catch up later. Hey y'all, hola mi gente. It's Taco Tuesday. Last night I marinated my pork for tacos al pastor. So I just took them out and I'm about to stick them in my Instapot. And I'm so excited, it's just gonna cook for about one hour and it's just gonna be delicious. Look at this, it is ready. It's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra pineapple juice and just to have some more like liquid in here as it, you know, pressure cooks. But yeah, some people would maybe brown them on the side before they do. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna stick it in here. I think it's gonna be just fine. I want it to be like pulled pork. And this is about five pounds of pork shoulder so it smells delicious divine I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm just gonna set it on soup um, meat and stew for one hour and then it's gonna be just amazing and I'm gonna make some tortillas we're gonna make some pineapple salsa or pico de gallo however you want to call it to put on top of our tacos we're gonna keep it simple and delicious we'll be right back I want to show you how much of the you know, tacos up our store sauce I had left. So next time we'll do it with chicken and put it on the grill and show you that. But I'm super excited of how this is looking. You see that pop. So I added several splashes of pineapple juice and a little bit more of orange juice and kind of mix it up. And that's it. Now we're gonna set it, lock it, and forget it. So it has stopped and I'm about to pull this out and see, it looks like it's already shredding apart these pieces. Ooh, let's taste this. Took it all out then I just shredded it up. Basically just went like this and mixed it around and it just shredded apart. Tasted it, I need a little bit more salt, a little bit more garlic for my preference and that's what I did. And then of course I just put a little bit of adobo 
just to enhance all the flavors. And now it is to die for. Can't wait to put it in my tacos and show you how it comes together.